Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GrayFlorals.com and today I have a pocket page process for you. This is actually a video I filmed in real time over on Patreon. So if you're interested in seeing the full every thought I had while making this page, definitely check it out in my highest tier link down below. But today we're going to be doing some stamping. I'm going to stamp on my photo. I'm going to stamp on both of my filler cards. And this page is from a vacation album I'm working on. It's actually a flip book, which is a product by Simple Stories. And if there's any products you see in this video that you're interested in, I'll try to link all of them down below so you can check them out. Now this kit that I am using is part of my How to Kill a Kit with Style for the first quarter of the year. If you have not seen the kit share video, that'll also be linked down below so you can check it out. I am trying to finish off a bunch of these products if possible using some that I've never touched before, which was the main purpose of this kit, um, is to just use some stuff I have not touched, but also pulling out some oldies but goodies. So as mentioned, we're going to do some stamping on this page and I want to do some layering on this top one. It's going to be a journaling card. This page is about our hotel in Miami the night before our cruise, and it'll pair next to the itinerary page on the left, so you can get an idea of what the color scheme is. That one's based on the Heidi Swap Sun Chaser collection. The one on the right is using pocket page cards I found in my stash uh, because I did not include any in this particular kit, and I thought it'd be a better idea to use some pocket page cards than to cut into some new paper. And I struggled with this pretty difficultly. I love the color that I pulled out in that card on the right hand side. No idea where it's from. I believe it might be a Project Life card, but I don't organize them by style anymore. It's just the perfect color scheme. It works really well with the left hand side, but I wanted it to kind of be a title card. I'm thinking, I'm not sure what I could put there to work with all those colors to not be too busy, but we're gonna figure it out. So the first thing I do is some test stamping off here on the side on an off cut of a different photo that will allow me to know which ink I should use, how does it stamp on another photo. And when you do a test like this, make sure you're using the same photo paper, the same printer, otherwise you might get different results. So of course we're gonna use our stays on ink for that, but I'm too scared to start there right now. So while those um, examples are still drying, I'm going to work on my little baby title on this left card. And I've put a geotag sticker there from these simple stories into the wild sticker book to add that pop of yellow, but I need to put a title there. So I want to put Miami on this side, even though I have it written on the left-hand side, I just want to make sure that people understand if they're looking at this in a million years, what they're looking at in this photo. And this is the Miami Harbor or I guess it'd be the Miami port because that's where the ships are. But I use these adorable Concord and ninth, alphabet. They're called little letters. I'll have them linked down below. It's one of my favorite small stamp sets. So I stamped that out and I had to do it in a couple different ways. Even though there's extra letters in this stamp set, I couldn't get them spaced quite right because of some extra blockage on a couple of those cuts for those like the letter A and stuff. So we made it work nonetheless and we're going to move forward into stamping on the bottom section here and I'm using a brand new ink pad that I haven't tapped into yet and this is the Distressed Oxide in Fossilized Amber. And this is also a brand new stamp set I hadn't tapped into yet. This is the Heidi Swap Set Sale stamp set, which is so, so beautiful. I own parts of this collection. It is gorgeous and of course, perfect for a cruise album. And I want to layer two stamps on top of each other. So I put down that yellow there and I'm gonna come back with black here for a Hero Arts and Kelly Perky stamp set, which says Early Bird. I was able to watch the sunrise. Not everyone in the room watched the sunrise, but I did because I was so excited to get on the ship, to get the vacation started and to go have fun. So I wanted to write Early Bird there because I did a time-lapse of the sunrise and then I also grabbed some photos like this one. Next up, I'm just looking at the other items in my kit. I've got sticker books. I've got the whole nine yards. So let's see what we get up to. I pull out a phrase sticker there to add a pop of pink onto the left card. Now, when you're starting with a base card that you need to introduce new colors with, washi tape is definitely your friend phrase stickers, stamping, um, especially when you're working with such a small area, even small stickers like the little hearts or little stars can be really, really helpful into introducing those other colors to your palette and into other parts of your page. Similarly, you can do clusters like that, sort of maybe no stamping, but with a die cut and some small stickers on top of your photos to introduce colors. Now, luckily some of the colors in the color palette are in the photo already, especially that deep tone. It's like a 
dark gray, not exactly black, but I introduced black through the stamping anyhow, then it works out really well that there's so many silhouettes and dark parts of that sunrise photo. We have the nice peachy orange color and the light blues throughout the sky that work really well. You'll see me fluttering through a lot of supplies here that I don't end up using, but this one I do. This is the Echo Park Dive into Summer 12x12 sticker sheet. I cannot remember when I picked this up, but I have not touched it since I picked it up, since I hauled it, and I need to use it. So luckily, I'm going to be clustering some of these together, um, although I do audition several other sticker sheets that again, have not been touched. Now you may be saying to yourself, Caitlin, you should be working inside your kit only really just pushing your limits. I looked through almost everything in my kit and was very dissatisfied with the sizing of using that on pocket pages. My original intent was to do pocket pages. So it's really a surprise to me as well that I did not make a kit that was so conducive of pocket pages, but here we are. And luckily for me, I did manage to pull out a doily. And if you know me, I love doilies and these doilies are the mini doilies from Doodlebug. They are so small. They are so cute. I had two colors here. I have the pool and I have the lily white. Lily white's my favorite. Obviously I need to order more before they stop making them. If they ever stop making them. Doodlebug, if you're listening, please never stop making them. But I wanted to have a little home for this cluster of stickers to sit on. And I pull in the suitcase, an ice cream cone, and sunglasses. And you may be thinking, why an ice cream cone? One, it's a good pink color to bring in more of that peach tone. It's not a perfect match, but it works nicely. And two, because everybody got ice cream the night before uh, while we were waiting um, in downtown Miami. So it worked out well for part of the story to include it. Just a little nod to that. And there was a lot of ice cream this trip. So really, vacations should all have ice cream featured on them. Next up, we're looking at how we can add some dimension without too much dimension because this is a flip book. It's not a full album. It can get bulky very quickly. So I end up going for some of these chipboard hearts and these are just from a simple story set from the Good Stuff Collection. Really didn't think I'd be using chipboard in a flip book, but here we are. I also considered using some wood veneer on here because I do have wood veneer on the alternate page, but I opt against that. Instead, I'm just going to stick with the sequins in a later moment. Here is where we get into the stamping. Now, is my photo stamping perfect? Absolutely not. But if you're going to stamp on your photos, of course, always do a test run on another photo scrap. If you're trimming down a photo, keep those. Um, you can definitely work with those. Um, secondly, if you're using a cheaper stamp, something that's not like rubber, uh, you might run into this issue where the height of the stamps isn't exactly the same. So I had to stamp a couple pieces separately because one, the spacing wouldn't work out because I had such a small block, and two, because they weren't really cooperating spacing-wise because they have that extra border around them so they can cling to your block. And it worked out pretty well. There's a couple that are a bold font instead, uh, but it's all legible, which is really uh, all I could ask for. And it simply says it's an adventure kind of day, which is perfect for the start of our cruise embarkation day. Now you might have seen that I just did an additional stamp on the top right. That was a very, very small stamp in the Heidi Swap set that has the definition of I think adventure on it. I cannot be sure. You'll see in the close-ups, but we're going to finish this off with sequins and really just a fun layout overall. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And as mentioned before, if you're interested in behind the scenes, real-time process videos, that kind of fun stuff, my Disney vlogs, my Universal vlogs, they're all over on Patreon if you're interested in joining us over there. But here is a close-up of these two finished cards. I love the stamping on the left card and the right card has such a cute cluster. It works with the busy background, I think at least. And it's really my style. I really have a maximalist style when it comes to scrapbooking sometimes. And here is the photo stamping. You'll see that it's and the of are not perfect, but we can add emphasis on some words. It's fine. But thank you guys so much for watching. Here's the finished page. If you enjoyed, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite part was. But thank you guys again so much for watching. I do really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.